Oh my gosh, Chad's a huge crappie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a huge crappie. Oh my god, it's a huge crappie. Holy moly. How big is that? How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J. It is currently freezing cold so out cold. here. Oh my gosh, you have some little snow flurries happening. Maybe we'll get a big snowstorm right here fishing. But hey, we're out of the lake. We're going fishing. We're going fishing at a very, very popular crappie fishing hole. This isn't our most favorite spot to fish at, but this place has big slab crappie and it gets pounded daily. I mean, a lot of fish get caught out of here and it's because they're big. We've been catching tiny crappie and we're just tired of it. We don't care if we catch you know, not as many numbers, but we're just looking for size, right, Jay? Right. Looking for biggins. Hopefully, we can make some magic happen today. Hopefully, yeah. If you watched the last video, I caught a bunch of tiny <laughs> crappie, and that just that just doesn't do it for us this time of year. We're after the slabs. There's a great chance we could catch, you know, crappie over a pound or even up to two pounds. So we're gonna pull up here in this cove, and uh, we're gonna anchor up. We're gonna cast some jigs around and see what we can catch today. The water's kind of murky, so that's kind of got us concerned, but should be all right. We'll see you guys over there. So we made it out here and look, we're surrounded by American white pelicans. They are everywhere. There's probably 300 of them in here. Hopefully they didn't eat all our fish. What do you think? I think it's a pelican party. It's a pelican party. Oh, and there's the first guest. Let's see if we can catch the fish. Good luck, Jay. You got? I don't know what this is. It does not feel like a crappie. Doesn't feel like a crappie? It's a crappie. Oh, it is? Nope, nope, it's yellow bass. Yellow bass. Hey, on the board though, there is something living out here besides pelicans. Shiny yellow bass. Not a bad looking fish. Tricked me at first. Ooh, look at this crappie. That's a crappie. Crappie? Holy cow. Crappie? Yeah, that's crappie. Big one? Feels like a big one. Yeah, I got the net. Oh gosh. I, I think it's crappie. It's got, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. God, Jay. Oh my gosh. That's a huge crappie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. This is a huge crappie. Oh my god. It's a huge crappie. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Look at them pelicans coming in to pick that out. Dang! <laughs> Holy moly! How big is that? I don't know. I think that I left the scale in the car. I meant to bring it. You left the scale? I did. Hey, but we this can wait. This is like my PB crappie. We can weigh it whenever we get back. My God! What the heck? He's kind of skinny. I don't know how big. I can't even tell how big he is. My God! Ooh. I'm like in shock. I haven't caught a crappie this big in a long time. I don't know. Do you think this is my PB? I don't know. What is your What is your biggest crappie? It's like two something. Two something. Like two three. I think that's at least, I and mean, it's definitely a two pounder. But holy crap! Look at the hump back on that thing. <laughs> that thing is a monster. What? I mean, a freaking monster. That's insane. That's insane. Good job, Jay. What do you eat? A little shark. shark little chartreuse jig. Look at the size of this thing's mouth, guys. I mean, that thing is massive. All right, let's get this fish on the live well and let's get back out and see if we catch some more. There might be some more over there. Oh my gosh, I'm so stoked right now. Here, I'll turn the live well on. I cannot believe you forgot the scale. We have one in the car. We can wait when we get back. <laughs> He's over too. Yeah, baby. All right, big guy. Here, here, measure him real quick. That is a 15 inch crappie, plus a little bit. Huge. Freaking huge. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call a slab caught by the slab queen. They don't call me the slab queen for nothing. 
me some. Yeah, let's get back out in the kitchen, another one. Got a little guy. I don't think this is a crappie. I think this is one in yellow bass. Where's our bluegill? That's a yellow bass. Hey oh! Hey, it's a fish. I'm on the board. Jay's done, been on the board, but I will take that for my first fish of the day. The yellow bass guy. If I catch a big one of those, I'll throw them in my live well also, because they eat just about as good as a crappie does. Keywords in there are just about as good. Definitely better than drum. Biggin. 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 Yup. 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 First good one of the day. It's not as big as yours, but it is a good one. Whoop. Cha ching. Cha ching. <laughs> not talking about. Dude, crunched it. Nice one. Ain't bad. It's about half the size of yours, though, that you caught. That's Honestly. Crazy. Honestly. It's got to be at least half the size. We'll, we'll get weights on all these fish when we get back and have our scale on us. But look at that. You think he wanted that? I think he did. Here we go. There's my first good one of the day. It's been kind of a slow grind since Jay caught that first. And we've been out here for about 30 minutes. And we've got two really solid keepers. This is going to be over a pound. I think that fish that Jay caught is probably two and a half pounds. I'm dying to get that thing on the scales. But this is a really good one. This is what we were after. I caught him on a chartreuse jig, the orange jig head. And uh, going to put him in the live one and get back after it. So we get another big in. Woo woo! Heck yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so there, there's Jay's, and there's one I just caught. Easily twice the size of this one. And this is a good fish. Freaking awesome. Okay, get him in a little well. Let's get back out there and get some more. Nice! Is a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's crappy. Crappy? Yeah, it's crappy. Woo! Woo Woohoo! Big difference in my last one though. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't I don't know. He might be 10. I bet he is. Alright, do you think he's 10? I think he is. He'd be really close. If not, it'd be right there. Luckily we have a slab checker. <laughs> I forgot who sent this to us, but thank you for sending this to us if you're watching. And oh, dang. Man. There we go. Oh crap. Not a keeper. Not a keeper. Not even nine and a half. We'll need the pinch tail. Pinch tail is nine and a half. Take him, Jay. He's I like too this little. though. I like this checker. <laughs> That's nice. Made it easy. Okay. Bye, fishy. He'll be a 10 inch next year for sure. Good job. That's not a crappie. <laughs> Unless he's biting like a yellow bass. It is a crappie. And he was fighting just like a yellow bass. I think that was gonna be short like the one Jay just caught though. What's well, about like a nine and a half incher. He's like, ooh, it's cold. Ooh, it's cold. Ooh, it's cold. Oh, just slightly under, a little bigger than the one Jay just caught. Not a keeper. In case you haven't figured it out, they have to be 10 inches to keep out here. Too small to keep. Oh, that's a big one. That one's, this is a big one. I got a big one. Net, net, get the net. <laughs> Get the net. Woo! Nice. Hey. How about it? My bait's all hung up in the net. That ain't no baby. That's a slab. And he ate it just like the last time I caught. Here you know, guys, I'm gonna show you what you want to see. You want your fish to not fit in the slab checker. <laughs> that 13 incher in the box. I caught that last crappie in the same spot as the place where I caught my first keeper. Made about 15, 20 casts at that same spot in a rope for that one bit. I felt a little bit of brush. So there's brush everywhere I hear. There's just brush scattered everywhere. 
Um, so it's just, it's an effective way just to sit in one spot and just cast around um, to these different brush piles. Big and giant, giant, giant. He's running like crazy. It's a giant. It's a giant. I don't know. He's good. He's good. He ain't as big as yours. Yes! That was right after that first fish, that last fish. There we go. Two casts after my last fish and another good one. I thought it was a lot bigger than that. He was fighting like crazy. He bit the bottom jig. Both of them are chartreuse, so it doesn't really matter. But fortunately, I got hooked. And I don't want to tear my jacket up, so I got to cut this hook off and I got to retie. But that's all right. Put him in the box and get back out there. You might have found a nice little spot. Giant something. Might be a drum. This is a crappie, it's huge. I think it's a drum though. Drum? I think it's a drum. It's a drum. It's a drum. Swap baits up, put a little piece of gulp on there, and uh, he thumped it like a crappie, but started fighting like a crazy drum. He's going back in the lake. Is that a fish? Yeah, it is a fish. Whoa! 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 This can't be a crappie. It's probably a drum. It's a drum. It's a drum. <laughs> the slap queen ain't scared to go multi-species on us. <laughs> These are actually really fun to catch. They fight so hard. Yeah, when we're out here, you know, targeting big slab crappie, it's kind of a different story, but in most scenarios, we love to catch drum. Their mouths are so tough. And it's so cold. They are fingers. We've lost about all of our finger dexterity. <laughs> nice one. Not what we're looking for though, but still cool catch. Give me some. Big old drum. Or I don't know, I might have snagged a shed. Oh my god. Oh, it's a huge shed. <laughs> Dang. I think he started zipping. I don't want to touch him. He's gonna get my hands all slimy and cold. That's what else is living down there. A bunch of giant shafts. I'm gonna shake that sucker off though. Woo! Got a little shad scent on my jig now. That should be good. Crappie. Got that shad scent on there. Now I got me another crappie. I don't know if he's gonna keep though. He looks like he might be a little small. I don't know. It's gonna be close. He's gonna keep. Get up here. Yes. One cast removed from snagging a shad, even though the shad was on the, the chartreuse jig. We got ourselves another keeper. We'll put him on the board just to make sure, but I think he's gonna be 10 and a half, 11 inch fish. They come in waves. We'll fish for 20 minutes, not get a bite. And then we'll catch a couple. Oh yeah, easy keeper. 11 and a half inches. Nice. That's a big one. I don't know if that's a crappie though. If it's a crappie, it's a giant. It's not a crappie. Dang it. <laughs> he gave me a little bit more hope. He didn't start doing them drum spins until we got to the boat. Ooh, I want that to be a giant crappie. Jay still has the biggest fish of the day. Although this fish is probably pretty close to the same size as that crappie. I think her crappie's still bigger. And I guess we're not counting um, any other species. It's gonna take a big one to surpass Jay's big one. And that one got me excited. I was starting to feel chilly. I was starting to feel real chilly. And I wasn't bored, I was just kind of spaced out. So I've been making a bunch of casts. 
and that dude just rocked my world. It's too bad it wasn't a crappie. Here we go. That's a crappie. I think. I think that's a crappie. He's shaking his head weird. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Back to back cast. They're fired up. They're fired up. I'm fired up. Jay's got the net. Woo! And we got him on a different bait. Look at that. Oh, popped right out. Y'all don't get to see the bait. Secret bait. Look at that. Look at his tail. His tail is all jacked up. Looks like he got bit by a snapping turtle or a pelican. Either way, that's it for this fish. He's going in the bucket. That's crappie. That's a crappie. Woo! He jumped in the net. He's gonna be close. Let's see him. I think he's gonna be a little short. A little short? Here, slide him in here and we'll see what happens. Okay. I'll hold it. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Dang. <laughs> Another nine and a half. I'll just dump him back in the lake. Okay. Okay, we'll see you later, buddy. It's like a water slide. All right, the bite has really slowed down and it's freezing outside. My hands are so cold, I can't even like grip my fish. But we're gonna fight the cold a little bit longer and hopefully we can catch one more keeper. Man, those fish done got stingy on us. We, we fished for a solid hour, I think, from between the last fish we caught and now and didn't get another bite. Like when we showed up, we were getting pretty steady bites. I think we probably caught 15 or 20 fish total if you mix in the yellow bass drum and crappie all together. Uh, I think we got seven keepers in the box and you start off good with that keeper. monster. Got a monster. We got some really good fish. It's really I exciting. The fish. Yeah. I win. I'm the winner. You win. You're the winner. <laughs> but anyways, we're idling out of the back of the creek. Now, one thing I want to talk about while we are making our way back to the ramp is, you know, we say it's cold outside, you know, but we really weren't that cold. It's mainly just our hands. You know, our hands are just so cold, like my fingertips. These gloves weren't made to keep my hands warm. They're made to protect me from the sun. But besides our hands being cold, we really weren't that cold at all. I mean, the rest of us is pretty toasty, and I think that we can really thank these really nice jackets that we're wearing. These are the Six Sense Fish Down jackets. They are a super light and super warm uh, down feather jacket. Um, we've been wearing them all winter long, and it's been really nice you know, fishing these cold conditions in these warm jackets. Uh, they were out of stock for a while on Sixth Sense website. When they first launched, people were buying them like crazy, and uh, they're back in stock now. So if you guys are in need of a really warm and a light and just really, really versatile jacket to wear on the lake, these are definitely one to check out. We will leave them linked in our video description you guys check out. You can use our code CJ10. You can save 10% on this jacket and everything else on their website if you like to. But uh, just throwing that out there. It's really, really nice, really, really warm. We've been testing them out a lot for the last couple months. This and, is like uh, the nicest jacket I've ever had. Yeah, it's really, really nice. The warmest and, one. Oh crap, our motor died. <laughs> That's all right. We're gonna. We're guess we're gonna get the motor to go back going. We're gonna go back to the ramp and we're gonna pull that big crappie out that Jay caught, and we're gonna see how big that fish really was. I'm really excited. I bet it's two and a half pounds. It better be. It's me close. <laughs> all right. We'll see you guys at the ramp. Got out the water, and we're about to weigh Jay's massive fish. Look at our catch. We have more than I thought. Got several slabs in there. I'm not sure how many that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. Seven slabs. And there's one that's more slabby than all the rest. It's a monster. Bet you can't guess which one that is. I bet I can. So he's like twice as big as all the rest of them. That dude is insane, Jay. But we're about to get an official weight on him. Okay. I hope he's two and a half. What's your biggest crappie? Like two pounds, three ounces? I think so. I think it's two, three from last year. I think he's going to surpass that. It's going to be close. <laughs> I'm so excited. If this fish was just a little bit chubbier, I'd say it's a no brainer. All right, what's it say? Are you kidding me? What? Two, three. That's about the same size as the one you caught then. Oh, this one looks bigger though. He looks a little bigger, but I think I it's maybe because we haven't been catching very many big ones lately. Yeah. And this one doesn't have like a super poochy belly. No. It's not super thick. But dang, you can't complain about a two pound crappie, Jay. <laughs> Are you sure that's 
scales right. It might not be 100% accurate. You might find another scale at home, but that sucker is massive. What a beast. Congratulations, Jay, on your catch today. And look at that. Look at the rest of these fish. We got some slabs. We have some work to do. We got to get back home. We got to clean them. One more time. Two, three. Two, three. <laughs> What? You matched your personal best crappie today. Hey, right. I ain't mad. I wouldn't be. <laughs> Beautiful, giant white crappie. Let's get him back in the live well. Let's get in the car. Let's turn the heater on and yeah. let's get out of here. Well, it's the next morning and it is a much nicer day today than yes. it was yesterday. Oh my gosh. It is like 60 degrees and sunny and hardly any wind. It's a complete reversal of yesterday's weather. Anyways, we got the fish. We put them on ice last night, so they're all iced up and we are about to get those fish prepared. And we both just had an awesome idea for the next video. Yeah, so we were thinking that we could maybe do a cook-off where Cole and I go head to head in a cooking challenge and see who cooks the best dish. And we'll probably have Granny as the judge. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> that'll be but a yeah, lot of fun. Be on the lookout for that video. That's it for today's video. Video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. And if you're not already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And be sure to check out and follow us on all of our other social media platforms down below in the video description. We're Colin J, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.